guys and welcome back to another episode of Candy Craft. So today I'm actually going to start working on my plot. So I'm not going to be mining, but I will probably be doing a tag video, I mean a tag whilst I'm trying to build so it's not completely boring. So this is what my plot looks like right now. I only have a few chests right there and then I did this thing like a while ago, but I have kind of a different idea right now. I'm probably not going to finish it all today, nor will I like... Because I'm probably going to just start working on, on it in like parts kind of. Um, but basically what I want to do is make... Hopefully I can do like the pyramid going down um, today. Like all of it. So my idea for that is to make like basically this whole thing go down. Because my plot, like all my prison plots have always like um, gone down into a hole. Like sometimes there would be a house and then there'd have there'd be a hole. Um, but I just personally like that type of style I just I think I'm just used to it so I'm probably gonna go ahead and do that and I think I kept those blocks yeah okay first question is what is your middle name so I don't really have a middle name so like uh, I mean I do but it's not like on like my birth stuff like it's not like on my birth certificate or anything like it's it's kind of just like a given middle name but not like official if that makes sense I don't use it anywhere it's like it's just there I think, I'm not sure if my middle name is like Marie or Maria, which is a really common middle name for a lot of um, girls, but uh, yes, yeah, so I think that's what it is. If not, that's a bit awkward, but uh, yeah. So question two is share your favorite subject in high school. I guess my favorite subject would probably be like math. I know some people are like, math? You like math? I've always liked like algebra and stuff. I remember I used to hate math with a passion, but once I, I had really good teachers and they just made me like enjoy learning the subject so I really just started to enjoy math and it just I don't know I know some people may not like have a fun time with math they might struggle with it or whatever it may be but I feel like the teacher is something that definitely impacts the way you learn a subject for sure because I know that I've had teachers that honestly were so great and I just loved the subject and I'm stuck in a block because we broke too fast yeah there we go um but yeah definitely like algebra but I definitely did not like geometry my geometry teacher was awful I've never had a geometry I never had a teacher that bad that it was just terrible experience um number three what is your favorite drink uh I feel like I've mentioned this in a previous candy craft video but I would say Snapple probably is some of my favorites because I drink that pretty often which I probably should stop doing that um but I mean I can't help it what is your favorite song at the moment uh my favorite song actually I'm just gonna say the song that's been stuck in my head like yesterday um is stressed out by I believe it's 21 pilots I was like singing it over and over again and I couldn't stop it's just stuck in my head man I can't I can't stop and I'm stuck again in a block guys like can you not do that please thanks do my cakes disappear? No! I forgot my cakes were placed and now that they're gone. <laughs> oh well, okay, whatever. Um, but yeah. What was that? What are those particles? Does anybody know what those particles come from? Like, they just randomly appear. I have no idea. Uh, question five. What would you or have you named your child? Well, I don't have kids, so... Um, but as far as naming kid, a kid... I don't know, I can't really think of like a name that I really just love. I'm pretty sure there was one that I loved so much, but I just can't think of it right on the top of my head. I mean, right, right on the spot, I should say. One day when I have kids, I guess I'll have some names chosen out. Or I really, I think when I have kids, I really want just some unique names. I don't want like, um, too like generic of a name. Like, I feel like my name is extremely like basic like Nicole I feel like there's so many people who have that name and it's just I really would like my kids to have a very unique name question six have you participated in any sports I have I used to do gymnastics when I was like in elementary like end of elementary school moving on to middle school I did gymnastics which I really loved I mean people might not say that gymnastics is not a sport but trust me it is every person who did gymnastics considers it a sport so I am too <laughs> but yeah so I did gymnastics, um, and then in high school I did, oh I did track, that's what I did. I couldn't remember what I did for some reason, um, but yeah, I did track. I personally wasn't a big fan of it, like I understand like it's all running and stuff, but I didn't get to choose like whether I wanted to be a long distance runner or a sprinter, I kind of got put into sprinting, so I wasn't a big fan of that, so 
Um, I was a bit upset, but you know, it is what it is, and uh, I just didn't enjoy it. Like, my coach wasn't that great, and it was just, I don't know. But I think the one sport that I've done is definitely, that I've really enjoyed, is definitely gymnastics. Like, that was probably one of the things that I really did enjoy, except for the fact that, um, my, why did, is there, wasn't there MC MMO before? Why am I just getting all these increased stuff? Maybe they just added MC MMO. But yeah, gymnastics is definitely my favorite. I had a really awesome coach, but then I qu ended up quitting because I got a new coach because my coach before that, um, I don't know if she got fired or if she, uh, quit. I don't remember. She, nobody, I don't think we, never, anybody found out except for obviously the owner of the gym, but, you know, it is what it is and I can't help it, so, yeah. But I quit because I got a bad coach. What is your favorite book? There's so many good books that I've read, but I just can't, I don't think I can think of, like, my favorite. As far as, like, book series that I've probably read that I really enjoyed, obviously The Hunger Games was probably, like, one of my favorites. Um, I started reading Insurgent, never, I've never finished the second book, but I still want to, like, go back and read it. Um, another series that I really want to read is Maze Runner. I know the films have already come out and stuff, but, like, I just, I really want to read those books because I want to see the difference between the book and the film, and I usually read the books before I watch the movies. I don't know, I really like reading dystopian type of book. There's a book that I have that, hold on, what is it called? Oh, The Fifth Wave, which apparently is becoming a film soon to be a motion, major motion picture, so, and I've, I've already seen, like, the trailer for that film, um, who's in it, is it Chloe Moretz? I think it's her, who's in that, who's in the movie, and I really want to go see that, but I really want to read the book first, but I first have to finish reading another book that I have, so, yeah, but I feel like I just don't get the time to sit down to read a lot, but I probably should. What is your favorite color? So, my favorite color is definitely blue, or kind of, like, um, seafoamy green, like, if you guys look at my channel, kind of, like, those are the type of colors I kind of like, I kind of, um, actually, I think if you look at my channel banner, or even my previous skin, like, before, like, this skin, but, like, the blue version of it, like, like those types of colors I really enjoy looking, or not looking at, but I really like, or if you see this color, that's definitely a color that I really like, so, I don't know, I'm, I'm really into, like, the whole blue, blues, like purples kind of thing. What is your favorite animal? Favorite animal is definitely a penguin. I freaking love penguins so much. Like I want them so like I just oh man, they're so adorable. But at the same time, I freaking love like there's so many animals that I love, so it's kind of hard to just choose one. But penguins are for sure. Like I don't know if anybody's ever seen this movie called it's like a cartoon film called Scamper Scamper? Scamper or something like that. About it like a little penguin. I used to love that as a kid. I don't I used to have it on VHS tape, and I think that, um, I think that, I don't know if I broke it or what, because I don't think I have it anymore, but I freaking love that thing, for t like, it was, oh, I just love that little penguin in it, he was so cute, or even Happy Feet, if anybody remembers Happy Feet, like, I was obsessed with that, I actually have the penguin from Build-A-Bear, like, m I think his name was Mumble or something like that, but I have that, like, stuffed animal, and, uh, yeah, I was obsessed, I'm basically, and, like, my friends for Christmas would like get me like little penguins like I remember my, one of my friends like gave me like a pink penguin so yeah I'm pretty obsessed with penguins but yeah um that's that uh what is your favorite perfume my favorite perfume is actually it's ironic enough um don't hate me for this I'm not a huge fan of Taylor Swift but I freaking love her perfume and I can't remember which one it's the blue one I don't remember what the name of it is but yeah, I, it's so weird. Like, I don't know why I love her perfume so much. Like, girl, why'd you make a perfume so good? What is your favorite holiday? My favorite holiday is definitely... This is actually hard because it's kind of between Halloween and Christmas because I really like both of those holidays. On a scale of 1 to 10, rate your childhood. Definitely a 10. I cannot say that my childhood was bad at all. I definitely... I... My childhood was so much, I don't know, I feel like kids nowadays, like, their childhood revolves around technology. Like, me, I did not have all of that. Like, yes, I did watch TV and stuff occasionally, but I was, like, in the summer, I was outside, like, from, like, 10 a.m. or 9 until, like, legit, like, 9 p.m. Like, that was, you know, like, when it got dark and everything, or even we just stayed out and hung out and stuff like that. Like, I just, I, I really enjoyed my childhood, but... Um, even before that, like, it was just great. I, I can't complain about it. I'm really happy, like, when I grew up. Have you ever been out of the country? I have. I feel like, I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but I've been to Canada, and I've been to Poland and Germany, but I definitely, in the future, I plan to travel more, because I would love to so much. 
Um, question 14, do you speak any different languages? I do, I speak Polish fluently. Do you have any siblings? Yes, I have an older brother. What is your favorite store? Target's definitely my favorite store, for sure, actually, now that I think about it, Target. Um, Target has like everything I need usually, so I love Target, except they didn't have what I needed when I went the other day, so maybe not always, but for the most part, they have everything that I need. What is your favorite restaurant? Ooh, favorite restaurant. Ooh, I don't really eat out often, but my favorite, I always, I always loved Applebee's. That's probably only because I have so many good memories of Applebee's when I was younger. Did you like school? Uh, I think this is really hard because I think it depends on your personal experience of school, whether or not uh, how school was for you or is for you. Because I know that I think as I got older, I just didn't like school as much. But I think that's because, I don't know, I feel like when I was younger, I enjoyed school a little bit more because like it's just, it was more fun, I think. And then, then school gets harder with a bunch of work that you have to do and stuff. So yeah, I definitely think that it just depends on what year of your of your life we're talking about, I think. But yeah, I mean, yes and no, so yeah. Who are some of your favorite YouTubers? I think my top favorite YouTuber, I don't know if anybody knows who she is, but Brittany Lee Saunders, she is an Australian YouTuber. Um, she's not really a beauty uh, YouTuber, she's really like... Mm, I don't know if you'd call her like a lifestyle. You, I don't know what kind of what you would categorize her under. Um, but if you guys haven't checked her out, uh, she's a bit more mature. I mean, when I say mature content, I mean more like she uses like cuss words and stuff. So if you guys aren't into that, then definitely don't check her out. But she, for those of you who don't really mind, um, I find her really funny and she's just, I don't know. I just, I don't know why. I just enjoy her videos so much. Like, Maybe not, it's not going to be everybody's type of style of videos to watch, but it's definitely something that I enjoy watching, so yeah, definitely her. What is your favorite movie? I mentioned this in a previous video again. Uh, Horrible Bosses is definitely one of my favorites. What are some of your favorite TV shows? Now this, this is a good question to ask because I have so many favorite TV shows. So, there's so many, oh my god. So there's Jane the Virgin, which I highly recommend. It is so funny. It's, I believe it's on the CW channel. I don't know if it's back on... Uh, if it's on a season break or something like that right now, I can't remember. But it is so funny. The first season is on Netflix, if you have Netflix. I absolutely love it. It might not be a show for everyone, but it's so awesome. Pretty Little Liars, which I watched religiously when it came out, and then watched it for like a few years, and then I kind of stopped because it was like getting boring because they didn't find out who A was or whatever, and then they found out. So now it's like, I'm into it again, which is coming back. American Horror Story, which I love, which is pretty mature content as well. So that's probably not for everyone either. The originals, The Vampire Diaries, Teen Wolf. Um, dang, there's so many. Uh, why can't I think of them? Like when you're put on the spot, I like forget every show that I watch. Oh, another show that I've I've watched before, but I haven't like um, continued with the second season. How to Get Away with Murder pretty is a pretty good show in my opinion. Uh, what else? Other shows that are on Netflix, for example, like Jessica Jones, Daredevil. I tried to get into watching like I watched I think the first like few episodes and I'm trying to continue watching that but like dude I just I'm trying and it's like it's like hard to get into like I mean it's not that bad a new show that I started watching called telenovela which is featuring what's her name uh Eva Eva Longoria she's like the main character in it which is really good um so far it's, there's I think it's only four episodes that have aired of it um but I can't think of any other shows like PC or Mac uh, well, I have both. I have a MacBook, um, that I like, but mine's really old, so I'm not a big fan of it right now, but I don't have an issue with it, um, as far as, like, I don't know, I just really, but I li really like my PC as well. I think it's just, they're two different type of companies, so it's just, like, they're good for certain things, like, I know a lot of, uh, you know, like, filmmakers or f photographers use Mac because they just, I don't know, it's just typically something that they use, but... Um, I don't know, like, I think it just depends, but I really like both, so, but as far as, like, for example, like, doing gaming and stuff like that, definitely, uh, PC for sure, um, but that's just my opinion, obviously everybody has their own. What phone do I have? I have the iPhone 6, uh, the black one, I don't know what it's called, like, the specific name, Black Slate, or, I have no freaking clue. How tall are you? I am 5 foot 4, I know that may seem short, but... Technically, it's kind of like average height, so I'm not really too worried about it. 
Um, I'm taller. I'm like I'm taller than a lot of other women, so I'm okay with it. You know, I'm not worried. You know, I. I've always, I don't know why, I've always had this dream height of being 5'6 for some reason, but, you know, I'm taller than my mom and, like, my grandma, so, you know, that just, that makes me feel okay, you know, but, um, yeah, 5'4 is a pretty average height, at least I think in America it is. I know that other, I can't remember what place it was, but I was talking to someone and they said that the, their average height for women is like 5, 6, or like that their country just like a lot of people are just really tall. So I guess it just really depends, um, but I, I don't mind my height, it's fine. Like I'm not complaining that I'm too short or that I'm not tall enough, I feel like my height is just okay. So yeah, just average. Do you have any pets? Yes, I have three cats. Um, I'm called a crazy cat lady for some reason, but I'm not, I promise. I just have three, like, <laughs> I've always had my cat Fluffy, who I believe is, she's now, like, 14 years old, 15, almost 15 years old, which is actually really crazy, because her brother died back in 2008, which is a long time ago, but they were both born in this house, but then I got my cat Leo, um, uh... La a year ago, like almost exactly a year ago, um, and we've had him for a year, and then we have my cat Theo, um, or Theodore, or whatever you want to call him, uh, and we got him in July, and he was more of like a surprise, like not a surprise cat, but we weren't technically looking for a cat then, but I've always wanted like a Russian blue cat, and those are like gray cats, I don't know if you guys know what they look like, just google it, I or maybe I'll post a picture in here, I might forget to though, um, but yeah, they're a Russian blue, um, they're just like gray, and I used to, I, I got one for when I was little, and I think when I was turning five, I believe, I got one for my birthday, but the thing is, is like, she didn't, she didn't last even, I don't think she even lasted a week, she got really sick, and she died, and I was like really sad about it, um, but yeah, and then, uh, yeah, that's basically all my pets there, but yeah, I have three cats, and I freaking love them all so much. They all have different personalities, just crazy, but I love them, and, uh, yeah, so they're pretty awesome. Um, oh my gosh, this is actually looking kind of cool, not gonna lie. Didn't think I was gonna do this, but I like it. Um, I probably were gonna work on this a bit, um, off-camera, though, because I kind of am enjoying building this right now. And I don't want to make this video too long. Alright guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and end this episode off here. I hope you guys enjoyed and are ready to see my plot building because I kind of want to go ahead and I kind of got inspired so now I really want to just build on here. But uh, yes, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll talk to you guys in another video. Bye guys.